Hello everyone and welcome back to a little bit more of Pit People. I'm really enjoying this game. This is a new strategy game by Behemoth. They are the same people that did Castle Crashers and Battle Block Theater. And this has been just as amazing as those games. I'll show you what we're getting ourselves into right now. Our party that we have is Horatio, Pipistrella, Yosef, Sophia, and Gluten. Gluten the Cupcake is our healer. Sophia is the adventurer from Spain. Yosef is the Demiclops, Pipistrella is the princess, and then Horatio is the farmer, the blueberry farmer. And I've customized them a little bit to <laughs> look a little different. So we have the Shoop de Whoop here on Yosef. And we got a lollipop over here and a giant pizza cutter and a helmet for Horatio. So things are a little different. I think it's a ton of fun so far. I'm really enjoying it. It seems like I can... Ooh, what is even this? The Bone Arowana. Okay, so there's, there's a bunch that we can do here. But we're gonna... We're gonna move forward here with our characters and see what we can do next. We must recruit another... Okay, so I think we already did that, though. To unlock quests and story, you must recruit another fighter. So to do that, how do I do that? I need to go get a gate? I think is what they're saying? Healing camp, recruit... Okay, so... Okay. So it tells me what items I can buy here. This is part of the game we haven't seen yet, so if I go here... It tells me how much these things cost. You can mark a waypoint on the map with X, and there is the... The spotted... The speckled horse, I think, is what they were calling it. But I need to... I like... I need to be in here, right? In order to get one of those cages to recruit another fighter. If I recall. So I need to go all the way over here. And then buy this item. And then we're golden. So... And again, a healing camp. That seems really interesting. That might be really nice, because... Let's try that. Because when you are going along through your quest, you do not get to heal before each battle. Maybe unless you have a healing camp. So let's go outside here and see what we can do. And now, what's really cool about this game is that each unit has their own thing they're good at, really. And now I need to recruit a fire, a fire, a fighter. So now I'm kind of at the point where. I can do whatever I want. There's no real quest objects right now. And we can just take... Excuse me? Ooh, can I just get coins here too? Oh, and I can pick up coins. Nice. And there's like all sorts of stuff going on here. Now, this is an adventure game slash turn-based strategy game. And there's all sorts of people that we can recruit here. We need to recruit somebody else before we can get another another quest going on here, but there's all sorts of places to discover, which is awesome. So that must be like whenever we reach a new area. That must be what she's doing, because she's like- oh. I don't know if I'm ready for him. Can I touch your chicken? <laughs> oh boy. Oh! Oh, he's ready for me! Like I was saying, there's all different like biomes, I guess, to explore. I don't know if that's the correct way to put it. I want to find the candy one. But you can see all the different types of characters we're running into here. Cool, man. And again, I can like put a waypoint down. Okay, that's cool. And I can just keep placing them. I don't really see where the mini map is. Oh god, I ran into somebody. Okay, so let's just see what we can do here. If I want to try to capture somebody. Because that is our next thing we have to do in this quest. So, we're on this side. They're on that side. I don't really know where we're all fighting at. So we're not oh god, look at this. Look at the starfish on them. So let's just try to move in here and get this done real quick, huh? I like the music. I really like the music. And then Horatio is going to be our lead man. And then... Oh, okay. So this is like the, the icon to, is who each person is. You can heal. I don't know how you heal, though. All right. Well, let's, see, let's see what we can do here. So we're just, we're just busting in here. I'm not afraid of these people. And they're all moving in, too. Ow! But now I'm wearing a helmet, so I get a I get a bonus there. So this is he's like my defensive guy. He's a tank. He has a giant shield, and the size of your shield helps determine how well you can block. And he also has a helmet on. So he's he's our dude that can take damage. And then to prevent these guys from ganking up on her, I think I should probably put Yeah, I should put her right here. And then I'll put you right there so you can throw. Actually, I don't know if I want him to throw because he has a shield, right? So maybe I want you to actually be like right here, so you can throw at him since he doesn't have a shield. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what it looks like. And then 
Maybe put her right here, and then I'll bring Horatio in here. I don't know how he heals, though. Let's try it. Right. And then he loses health when he heals, too, right? But he looks like he automatically heals. You don't get to control what your characters do. Woo! Okay, that's what I didn't want to happen. You don't get to control what your characters do. You just get to control where they go, which is interesting. Your characters have a mind of their own. So there's a lot of strategy, but there's also a little bit of chance, but then you need to do what you can to circumvent the chance from hurting you, right? I love this game. I, as you can tell, I'm like really into it. I'm pretty sure that's showing. Now, in order to capture somebody, you need to not kill the last person, right? So really what I need to do is be a little strategic here. I need to like have people be backed off, really is what I need. I'm gonna try to keep people back. Let's see what that does. Right now, if we want to capture this last person, I think I can. Ah! See, sure enough. Okay, now I can capture somebody. And all I need to do is move her like this, right? And then you just need to get the fuck out of here. I mean, really, I think it's over. Like, I can, I'm fine. I don't, I don't have to do anything else. Done? Recruit it! That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to recruit this last person. Frickin' gluten, man! You took so much damage! But now we got a new person, so we can go back and get a new quest, right? Because they wanted us to have that extra person. Nets can be used to snare enemies during battle. Oh, I didn't realize that. We've recruited a new fighter. Let us return to the city before we lose it. Oh, we can lose it? Excuse me. So let's go back. And we could've recruited anybody. I feel like we recruited somebody who wasn't really that interesting. But we can get some really cool fighters from what I've been able to tell. Neat! So we got Ace, the fighter. Right. So now it's saying we should- next time we go to fight somebody, we should try to get one we haven't seen before. Okay. You unlocked the quest board. The quest board is back at the gate. Go there to play story and bonus quests. Okay. And then we take a look here. I don't- we don't have enough gold. But we could get that sixth spot, but I'm pretty sure if I wanted to, like, let's say I wanted to flip out Cupcake here, I could put anybody here. Okay, guys, I know it's been a little bit since I played this game. You guys have been wondering, well, where the heck did you go? As you can tell, just by the way my two cameras look, it's been a couple of days since I played. So we're going to continue here. I actually know how it ends, but the way it ends is so brilliant that I want to show you guys. This is going to be the last part, at least of the story mode until now, because... It's in early access, and that's all they have done for the story. That's what you'll see once we get through it. But it's so funny, the cutscenes are great. So, now that our forces are strong enough, we can attack Helmetor and get revenge. So, what she means by that is we got our sixth person, right? I went ahead and did that. Last episode, or during- no, during the middle of this episode I did that. <laughs> Excuse me. And what I can do now is go to the story mission here. And go after Helmetor, and it looks like they're actually updating things. I don't remember there being skulls on top of- the side quest, so they're already updating things, and it's only been a couple of days since I played this. So yeah, we can go ahead and do the Helmetor mission, and it's so good, it's so great, I love it so much. Let's go ahead and select that, and then go on over to Helmetor's base. So I can go over here now, and just skedaddle. Archers get twice the ammo when not moved that turn. Oh! And I'm still learning things about this game. I actually played this on stream. Ooh. And what I kind of want to do, actually, is capture somebody else. That way... We can see a special character rather than just a human. You know what? I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get back onto the mission. I'll show you who I get, okay? Oh my god, you see that unicorn? I am capturing that unicorn. I have no idea what it does, but it's mine. Oh my god, it even scratches its butt on the ground like it's got dingle berries. Got him! There it is, the rainbow horse. Don't let the lighthearted demeanor fool you. They launch regenerative exploding horns from their at atop their brow. Also, they don't always explode. Dude. It's got a unicorn. I hope I can use the unicorn. I want to use the unicorn. Oh my god, I really want to use the unicorn. This is going to be so great. Oh my god, he did a lot of damage for their team, by the way. He's going to be my DD. So we're going to go on over to the unicorn. We're going back to our castle so we can go use the unicorn. All right? Because I am super excited for this now. <laughs> I think you've gotten a little too comfortable here. Wait, what? He's going to take me and move me? What? You can... <laughs> okay. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, Ora is is the name of him. Perfect. What can I put on you? Ooh, striped hair. Hmm. You can, you're not going to be my hero. You're just going to be my little rainbow horse. 
But now that I got my team in a way that I want them to be, let's go ahead and roll here. So we're in a completely new area. You see how the, air, the arrow is going to the left now opposed to the right when I was trying to get over here? Oh my god, what is this? Is this honeybee land? I would love to get some honeybees for my team. <laughs> I can't help but kind of have the narrator's accent whenever I play this game, okay? Because <laughs> he's so great. You're going to get to see the narrator after this mission, which... It's like a castle siege, so I'm probably going to fast forward through it for you guys because it's, it's pretty long. I'll show you some of like, the interesting bits of it, but it is a pretty long fight. <laughs> and I love how every time we go to a new area, she's like, Ah, oh, yes, yes, I claim this for Spain. <laughs> Dude, is he wielding dual birds? Or are those frogs? So this is Hamator here, huh? Well, let's go ahead and take back the castle. That was unrightfully stolen from us. Bunny. Hey, doesn't that girl look super familiar? Oh my gosh, you're right, that is her. Let's kick some ass. She's like, wait, what? We're under attack, defend the gates. Okay, now there's a couple ways to do this. The first time I tried doing this, I made it way longer than I had to, so... I wasn't really happy with what I was recording here, but I'm pretty sure that we can go ahead and bust through this gate here. Break down the gates to defeat Helmator. Yeah, I know we do that. We have to go all the way back here. But I believe that we can take over this cannon here and start using the cannon against them to take out some of these tents, because these tents spawn units. So, let's start moving in here, kicking some butt. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then I'm going to leave my unicorn right there to go ahead and inflict some damage upon thy enemies. And I'll move Cupcake up a little bit. Let's see here. This should work. Hey, there he goes! Oh, dude, he's so strong, too. He just pumps out those exploding unicorn horns that pop rainbows out of the ground, and he does a ton of damage. But again, I'm, I'm gonna try to charge right up the middle here real quick, because you see how I have to, like, run away from the cannon now? Oh, that slows down the fight so much. So I'm just gonna try to bust through this as quickly as I can while trying to avoid the damage. And also kick all the butts. All at the same time. Okay, so I just took over the cannon. You saw him just get hit out. We're getting some kills here, too. Double kill, yes! Well, we're leveling up all over the place, too, which is awesome. But now what I can do... Is I don't know if I want to put Pipistrella in there or if I want to put Tank in there. Because they're both specializing in different things. So I'm going to have Pipistrella come on over here. Take out the dude with the helmet, because she has that... A weapon that's really good against the helmets. I don't want to take out Horatio here because he's my he's my tank. So I'm tempted to try and just walk. I don't remember her name. The Spaniard over there, and then get her in the tank, and then the rest of these guys are gonna sit here and do damage. The unicorn's been doing work, by the way. Watch this. The unicorn's gonna go and blow some rainbows up somewhere. Oh, he totally whiffed. He, he, he's usually cooler than that, okay? He just made a liar out of me right there. But yeah, dude, he's been doing a ton of damage. It's been awesome. Just like, when he actually hits his attacks, he just does enormous damage. But, let's keep doing what I was gonna do here, huh? So let's get you in here so you can go ahead and blow it up whatever you want, like this over here. And then I'll have this dude throw over there. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. It's pretty much all around here. You're gonna go ahead Pipistrella and try to help your unicorn here. You gotta, gotta be good to your unicorn, you know. I'm actually gonna try to get you out of the way, and I think we're good. Let's see what happens here. So she's gonna use this cannon real quick, and it should launch up that way. At least she'll think about it. Yeah, she's maybe she'll do it next turn. Yeah, here it comes. She will use the cannon. There it goes. Boom! Perfect. And then we can blow up the tents that way, and then we can rush on in. Okay, so we've killed just about everybody on this side of everything. I love how he leaves like his little rainbow smiley faces on the ground, by the way, and like little hearts. The carnage from the unicorn. So we're gonna bust on into here with our characters here. Just like this. I'll bring you up, I'll bring you up. They should be able to just bust right on into here and attack. Because Helmator is right here. One of his goonies ran all the way over here because I've been throwing cannons at him. We should be able to just move right in here. And they start running away as soon as you do damage. Not again! Follow them! And then it gets really weird. <laughs> this is impossible. 
All right, let's do it here, guys. That's not what I meant. So I'm curious if I can capture Helmetor, by the way. Because I have a cage with me. I wonder if I can just go ahead and grab him. I think that that'd be really cool. But we're going to go ahead and take everybody in here. And see what we can do in terms of doing damage. So I'll put you right there. I think Sophia is her name. Is the only one I don't have a... Moving over there yet, so let's go. Let's get into the spaceship, man, before they can run away. We busted on in. There it is. There they are. Hull breach! Get those freeloaders off my shuttle. All right, so I'm gonna try to capture him. I don't know if we can. I would love to try, though. There is a little funny thing that happens with him, though, if you hurt him enough. If you hurt Helmetor enough, a funny thing happens. So let's see. I'm just gonna move on in and try to do the damage, man. So move in, move in, move in, and then Pipistrella is our strongest one, but she's definitely the farthest out, so we're just gonna have to slowly move in and then start doing damage when we're close enough. So let's move in here. Dude, these rainbows can do so much damage when they hit. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, they can. That was for King Papastrella. Yeah, because her whole story is that she's vengeful. Ah, oh, God. It's fine. I got my tank in the front line. We got, we got it under control. But in order to capture him, I need to kill everybody else before I can go after him, right? So I'm gonna try to do that. We'll see. We'll see if we can make it happen. All right, now everybody's down. Except for Helmetor here, so I'm not sure if I can capture him or not. Like, since he's a ball- Oh, dude, it's saying I can do it! It's saying I can capture Helmetor! Okay, but before we do that, before we even try to do that, I want to see if I can knock off his helmet, because he's pretty funny if you knock off his helmet. <laughs> so, dude, that'd be so cool if we could use Helmetor against the freaking narrator. That'd be awesome. I When I first played through this on stream, I, 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 I didn't try to do that. So let's see here. Come on. I don't want to kill him. Because we do a lot of damage here, especially with that unicorn. I don't want to kill him. My helmet! <laughs> He's a cockatoo. Yes! Okay, so now I need to back some of these characters off. Especially the unicorn. So if I want to capture him, you're going over there. You're going over there. You're getting out of here. You can stay there. And then you're just gonna move in for the capture. And Unicorn, I don't know what I gotta do with you. Your range is too ridiculous. Let's try it. Will it work? No way! You can capture Helmetor! That's awesome! <laughs> well, look at you go! Dude! Okay, so it just counts as a Cyclops. But it's still, it's one of the bosses. How to build a better Cyclops. Start with a man, add another man, add 80 gallons of pro- 80 gallons of protein. Ask parents help to pop in a house. Dude, we got it! That's awesome! Well, let's- let's see what happens next! The cutscene's so great. You're quite good at barely scraping by, aren't you, my resilient little worms? Yet, I could close my paw and squish you like the very berries Horatio's worthless farm produces. You're depressing me, Pip. Why the long face? Your hands are bloody with the sweet tang of revenge. Problem solved, right? So turn that frown upside down. Hey, uh, no! Oh, have we bonded? How precious. Uh, Horatio, do you like Hansel's? Eh? How do He's you alive! Like them, yes. yes. Shh. Here, have some teeny tiny iced creams. I know you love them. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> starved. And what a curveball, <laughs> hmm, Horatio? <laughs> and speaking of curve, <laughs> and speaking of. <laughs> Shut up! And speaking of curveballs, I think it's time for you and your ragtag crew of flunkies to return to that worthless rock you call home and rot in uncomfortable despair for the rest of your days! Ah! Sayonara! 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 I love this. I love this game. It's so great. Sayonara is Japanese for go die. <laughs> what do you know? Shut up. I'll kill you. <laughs> Being evil is exhausting. I really should have eaten breakfast today. <laughs> well, 
Well, perhaps you should have thought about that before you slapped it out of my hand. <laughs> the ice cream. <laughs> How are you guys breathing up here? I mean, I'm no, I'm no scientist, but... This game's great. I love it, I love it, I love it. Bullseye. And now let's go watch the Earth burn. There we go! And we got Helmetor as a person, which is so great! Helmetor's Fortress, rest in peace, King Papastrella. You have completed the available story quests in early access. You can still battle in the pit, local and online. Explore the world and take bonus quests. And there's a ton of bonus quests in this game. But yes, the story is done. I don't know what else we are going to end up doing with the narrator. I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see... Oh man, I don't even know who I put in here. Helmetor. I wanted him without his helmet. He's probably better with his helmet, but still, I wanted to see him without it. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him, he's so great. <laughs> so does that count as a hat? Like, what even is that? Okay, so it's a hat. Perfect. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so, again, this is Pit People. I might end up streaming this and checking out some of the bonus quests. Seeing all the different types of people we can capture, like the unicorns and the fairies and the gorgons and the candy people. There's so much, and there's so much personality in this game. I love this game a lot. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, too. Go ahead, let me know in the comments what you thought about it, and if you really did enjoy the game, you enjoyed me playing through it, go ahead and leave a like, that's how I know. And I definitely plan, definitely, definitely, definitely plan on keeping up with this game as they release more updates. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to see more updates to Pit People as I get them out. So, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Be good to each yeah. other, and I'll see you in the next video.